It's winter. It's cold outside. Your room is nice and cozy and you feel great. But your feet are cold. Even if you're using a heater and the overall temperature is nice and comfortable because hot air rises and cold air stays down, your feet will always have to endure lower temperatures just because they are resting on the floor. But before you start sitting in the lotus position all the time, watch this video because my name is Andrew Dandrew and I am on a mission to search this entire wonderful universe for answers to the most important questions and explain these answers to you like you are five. That's my usual thing anyway, but in this video I'm going to show you how to build a simple, cheap and easy feet warmer that will make your cold feet a thing of the past. So let's get started. Let me start by mentioning that I got this idea from someone smarter than me. And yes, I know that's hard to believe because obviously I'm very smart and you're even smarter because you're watching this channel. Anyway, I browsed the internet to see if people did something similar because I wanted to build something to get rid of my cold feet. And I ran into Guido Soja's idea, which he posted on his website, tuxgraphics.org. There's a link in the description below. And I thought, what a genius idea. Use a light bulb to keep your feet warm. See, a perfect light bulb would take all of the electrical energy that's applied to it and turn it into light. But we can't actually make a perfect light bulb. All of the light bulbs we create today will take some of the electrical energy and turn it into heat. And we can use this bug to our advantage. Guido took an old incandescent light bulb, put it inside an old pan that he keeps under his desk. And when he turns the light bulb on, that gets hot and it warms up the pan and then the pan warms up his feet. Even if it's a great conversation piece, I honestly don't want to have an old random pan underneath my desk. So we're going to do some improvements in terms of looks and in terms of safety to his design. Here's what you're going to need. A step stool, a lamp cord, a 20 watt CFL light bulb, some scissors and a cutter, maybe a flat screwdriver, a ruler or a caliper, some super glue, a plastic soda bottle and a piece of sandpaper. I included Amazon links for everything you need to buy in the description below. Now keep in mind, these are affiliate links, meaning that if you click them and end up making a purchase, I earn a small commission from Amazon, but you're free to get them from wherever is more convenient for you. The first thing I decided to swap in Guido's design was the old pan, because metal is conductive and a plastic step stool should look a lot better and be a lot safer. Step stools come in many different shapes and sizes, and you should go with IKEA's for or any other similar Amazon step stool because this shape and size works great for our purpose and has the right size venting holes to allow it to get warm so that it can get our feet comfortable without burning down the carpet or the wooden floor that you might have underneath. Unfortunately, IKEA only sells the fishing stick in white, as do most other online sellers. I was lucky enough to find mine in black, but you won't see it 90% of the time anyway, so it's not such a big of a deal. Now let's get to the wiring. There are a couple of ways to do it and it really depends on how comfortable you are in working with electricity. If you've never assembled a light socket before, then I recommend you stay safe and go with the easiest way possible. Here's what you'll need to do. On the lamp cable you bought, there's a light bulb socket, which has a cap that the wire passes through. You want to unscrew that cap and measure the diameter of the screw piece because you're going to drill a hole the same size in the step stool. Because we won't be taking the wire out of the light bulb socket, we'll need to cut a slot from the bottom up to the hole so we can feed the wire through the slot and into the hole, where we will mount the light bulb socket by screwing back the cap. Of course, if you know what you're doing, you can skip the step and not cut the step stool and instead just unmount the wiring from the light bulb socket and feed the wire through the hole and then put it all back together. The idea is that now you should have the socket mounted to the sidewall of the step stool. If you did go with the easy way and cut the step stool so you can feed the wire through and put it through the hole, then you're going to need to cut a piece of the plastic bottle, make it roughly the same length as the cut in the step stool and about five centimeters or two inches in width. And then you're going to roughen it up with some sandpaper. After also making the step stool rough on the inside, you're going to glue these two pieces together using some super glue. And when it's dry, the step stool should be as strong as it was when you began. And now it's time to install the light bulb. Guido went with an incandescent light bulb and he must have some very cold feet because in my tests, this light bulb got way too hot to the point where I couldn't actually keep my feet on the warmer. So instead, I went with a 20 watt CFL light bulb. This one generates just the right amount of heat 
to keep my feet nice and comfortable and also saves some electricity in the process, so it's a win-win. Screwing in the light bulb is as easy as it gets. And then voila, you completed the project. Say goodbye to your cold feet and say hello to your new and luxurious life where you have your feet warm all the time. Mine looks a little bit different since most of the electrical components I used are actually recycled from other devices, but it doesn't matter. It should work exactly the same as yours. And I've been using mine for the last two years and now I can't live without it. It's just awesome. And for how simple and cheap and easy it is to build, you should build one right now if you have this issue. And with that being said, this video is now over. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and you're able to build one yourself if you want to. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, maybe hit the like button and maybe subscribe to the channel so you can be notified when I upload a new video. Until then, thank you very much for watching this one. My name is Andrew Dandrew. Again, have an awesome day, have an awesome week, and I'll see you next time.